What is going on YouTube? Corey here with The Tech Couple. Shree's gonna set this up because I wanna get with you guys and do a quick little tutorial about the Shortcuts app on your iPhone or other iOS device. Now, depending on when you're watching this, you may be trying to get ready to send some Christmas text messages and don't wanna go through the hassle of selecting and manually sending hundreds and hundreds of text messages. For Thanksgiving, I sent about 170 text messages with a push of a button. It was really simple to get set up. Let's jump into it. Now, I do not for one second doubt that this is something you can do on the Android. However, we're talking about the iPhone, so all you haters, stay out the comments. It's pretty straightforward. You can use any iOS device provided it's running iOS 12. I typically will build my shortcuts on my iPad because you get more real estate. You can kind of see what's going on. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we're gonna stick with my iPhone XS Max. Now, you need a couple things. You need the shortcuts app obviously. So we'll go into the app store. You'll get this guy clearly says shortcuts, do more with your apps. If you don't even have that installed, go ahead and download it. Once it's downloaded, you can open it up and we're going to create a new shortcut. So first thing we need, you try to send mass contacts or mass text messages to contacts. So we need to get our contacts first. So if you click up here on search, you can click contacts. You get a whole bunch of options, passes specified contacts, the next option, find, yada, yada, yada. So what we wanna do is we want to select contacts, allow select multiple, and even if we run it now, all you'll see is it's gonna allow you to run and select contacts. Next thing we'll do to make it really simple is we're gonna do a repeat, which I actually believe you can just scroll down and find in scripting. We'll scroll down and repeat with each. Take a list of items as input, which is gonna be all the contacts we just inputted, and run the contain action once for each item in the list. Add that to our shortcut. What that allows us to do is that allows us to select multiple contacts and then do something with each of those contacts. So for example, show you how simple this is. We can do, scroll down to messages. We do send a message. Show and run is an option that will allow you to enable you to be able to see what's going on before you send it. But if you're sending mass text messages, you probably don't want that on. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. And we'll say, Merry Christmas. Hope you are spending it with, can't spell, the ones you love. All right, now say you wanna say Merry Christmas, Corey. We can go in here and actually drag that into our repeat loop. You see repeat, repeat with each is at the top and repeat. So anything between these two points is what's going to actually run. So Merry Christmas, you can see it says repeat index. And we change repeat index. Up, oh, totally lied. Totally told you a complete story. Delete repeat index. We want repeat item, which is a contact. And we can change that to a first name. So it'll say Merry Christmas first name. So however many contacts you select, it'll put their first name in there. Just to kind of show you that being run. Let's click this. And let's click, I don't know. Adrian, Brandon, click done. See, I already got an issue. So let's go and back that up. What normally happens is things are passed from one condition to another. So when we select contact and repeat with each, it's actually passing the contact into the next field. So to fix that, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go down to text. And we're gonna text, I'll we'll copy that 
in here. We'll take our Merry Christmas. I will paste that. Oops. Paste that right here. That way what's gonna happen is Merry Christmas first name, hope you are spending with the ones you love. That information will get passed into our send message. Send message, of course, is text, so it'll send a text message. So if we try that again, we'll do Adrian, we'll do Brandon, we'll click done. Now you see it says Merry Christmas, Adrian L. Hope you're spending with the ones you love. And geez, you guys are learning everything. We never entered in the recipient for that text message. So again, we'll go to repeat item. We'll change that to the phone number. Then some first name. All right, so now that we got that set up, let's run that again. We'll do Adrian, we'll do Brandon, we'll do done. And you see, I've already sent one to someone before. Merry Christmas, Adrian L. Hope you're spending it with the ones you love. We click send, which hopefully she's asleep. And then again, we said Brandon, Merry Christmas, Brandon. Hope you're spending it with the ones you love. Boom. So if you turn off show with run, this is really simple to build with one, two, three, four, five lines. With five lines, you're mass texting all of your friends with whatever you want to use. Merry Christmas come to my party, whatever type of situation you want to do but have some personalization to it, you can use shortcuts to make that happen. So this is kind of rough around the edges tutorial on how to send a mass text, individual text message with the custom first name to a bunch of recipients. If you guys like this and want to see more, one, drop me a comment, let me know what you'd like to see. Secondly, let me know that you'd like to see more and I will be more than happy to fill this channel with some more content on running shortcuts. Even if we kind of back up and look, I use shortcuts a lot. I've got a lot of stuff in here. But our shortcut, oops, I don't want to run it. If you go up here to these white and blue dots, you can actually rename your shortcut. We'll call that Merry Christmas. Change your icon. You can change the glyph for it. I'm pretty sure there's probably a tree around here somewhere each their own uh, there's a tree change the color make it green now we have a nice green Merry Christmas you could add it to Siri if you'd like so that you could just say Siri run blah 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 did I trigger something Siri household thought I might have triggered her so yeah that is pretty much all I got for you guys thanks for watching I'm Corey with the tech couple and I will check you guys later Speed. Speed.